In this video, we're going to be walking through how we built this raised planter bed with a built-in trellis. We built a larger one a couple days ago for another part of our yard to grow some more vegetables and herbs. With this one, we wanted to bring a little more color to this part of the yard, so we filled it up with some flowering plants that Callie can also cut and make flower arrangements with. If you're interested in making a raised planter bed without a trellis, we did a video on that a couple weeks ago, and we'll put that link down below. But we thought it would be nice to share this design as well, so we hope you enjoy this video. So to get started, we cut all our wood down to length. This box is going to be roughly five and a half feet long, two feet deep, 16.5 inches tall, and the trellis portion of the box will extend up to five and a half feet tall. We'll be using two by six hard redwood lumber for the front and back of the box, as well as the sides. For the corner posts and trellis header, we'll be using redwood four by fours. We'll also be using three and two inch deck screws, a drill with a drill bit, an impact driver with a T-star bit, a staple gun with some one inch electro galvanized staples, a circular saw, wire cutters, livestock panel, six inch power lags, hardware cloth, a chisel, weed shield, speed square, a tape measure, and some clamps too. Before assembling the box, we needed to cut a channel out in our two back 4x4 corner posts and in the top 4x4 header. This channel will be what holds the livestock panel in place, and the wood that we cut out from this channel will be used to sandwich and secure the panel later. We made our channel 2 inches wide and 1 inch deep, and for these two back corner posts we left 16.5 inches uncut at the bottom of each post as this is where the back 2x6 pieces will be screwed in. We cut a channel in the top 4x4 header as well, making sure to keep that strip of wood from that channel also. We couldn't get a totally clean cut on these 4x4s so we had to chisel out the joints a little bit. Now that we had the channels cut, we started by putting the side pieces of the box together. Taking one of the back 4x4 corner posts and one of the front 4x4 corner posts, we laid them on a flat surface and then laid our three 2x6 side pieces across them. Holding the boards as still as possible, we drilled two pilot holes on each end of each board, then we screwed each board in using 3 inch deck screws. One thing to make sure of here is that the channel on the back of the 4x4 corner post is aligned in the right position, facing backwards or towards what will be the back of the box. We then repeated this same process for the other side piece. Once both side pieces were assembled, we laid them on a flat surface, then attached our front 2x6 pieces. Getting everything square and the edges aligned here is key for the box coming out relatively level. Using a few clamps makes this process easier and also keeps the boards from moving. After that, we flipped it over and did the same process of drilling and screwing on the other side for the back 2x6 pieces. We like to attach hardware cloth to the bottom of our boxes to keep any gophers out. To do this, we use a staple gun with electro galvanized staples. We didn't have a piece of hardware cloth large enough for one consecutive run, so we attached it in sections and then wove some wire through to seal the overlapping seams. Once we were done with that, we flipped the box up and put a center support in place. We like to do this just to make the box a little more warp resistant and we usually have enough spare wood lying around after all of our other cuts anyways. We just used two 4x4s and two 2x6s to do this. After that, we put the livestock panel in place. Using the strips of wood that we cut out earlier for the channels, we placed these on top of the panel and screwed them in using 2 inch deck screws. After the panel was secured along the sides, we placed the 4x4 header across the top, then we drove our 6 inch power lags down through each of the 4x4 posts and secured the channel strip along the back of the panel. We considered using 2x4 material for the trellis portion of this box, but decided to use 4x4 lumber instead because it's not as likely to warp and we could easily incorporate it into the box since we were using 4x4 corner posts already anyways. 
We're looking forward to seeing this planter bed grow in. We have a good amount of bare space in our backyard, so lately we've been trying to make better use by growing more of our own food to eat and also planting more pollinator friendly plants. We hope you got something from this video and yeah, thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.